Dome Nation is off to a quick 1-0 start. Just because you're 1-0 does not mean you have your championship locked up. Fantasy football is a lot like golf. First you have the drive, which in this case we can call the draft. Then you have the shots to get to the green in regulation, aka playoffs. This includes waiver wire, trades, start, sit. Once you do everything right, you knock in the easy putt and win your championship. If you decide not to sign up for any of the B season packages, you can find yourself out of the playoffs despite your beast roster. It is not often a player who was once a first round pick less than four years ago is now available on over 80% of ESPN waiver wires. Victor Cruz has sat out football for nearly two full seasons, and at 29 years old, he is arguably still in the prime of his career. Yes, Victor Cruz may not be the explosive player he once was, but now he has Odell Beckham Jr. who demands a lot of a defensive attention on one side, as well as a promising rookie Sterling Shepard on the other. With Victor Cruz now playing nearly every offensive snap in the slot, Cruz will be one of the first people Eli Manning will recognize if he is going to be open or has a good matchup against a weak corner. With teams no longer able to focus on shutting down Victor Cruz, he'll see a lot of mismatches and could be a favorite for Eli Manning in the red zone. Eli would love to see Cruz reach his vintage self, as well as the entire city of New York. The potential is there to be a consistent number two, number three in fantasy leagues. If it wasn't for the Cowboys eating up so much clock in that game, Victor Cruz could have easily seen 80 plus yards and been a must add across the board. It is one thing to miss out on Sanu after I ranked him number 7 at the wide receiver position last week on Fantasy Pros. But if you do not add Victor Cruz, I got news. You will probably 